Claus, Claus, you're checking me out again at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. <laughs> Let me explain. So as you guys see, I decided to swing over to a place called Red Lobster. Who doesn't know Red Lobster? I haven't been there in a very long time, and I did find out recently that they actually are offering a crispy cod fish sandwich. And the thing looked astronomical. I mean, it was actually a really big... Have you ever been to a restaurant where they just serve like Red Snapper or something along those lines, and you get a piece of fish like this? It's just, ooh. I'm a New England boy. I'm from Connecticut. New England all the way. It's what it is. I love my fish. I love seafood. I do. I don't like all seafood, but I do enjoy fish on occasion. With that being said, this sandwich looked really interesting to me, primarily because it's cod, which is one of the best fishes in my opinion, and it had a brioche bun, and it had coleslaw, some of my favorites. I also thought about it, and I'm like, you know what? While I get the sandwich, let me go grab some cheddar biscuits. Now, I know before you guys start with the, oh my goodness, I'm a chef, and I know how to cook this, and I can make them from scratch. Me too. Me too. That's not what we're here for today. The cheddar biscuits is just an extra bonus for me. I did get rice on the side when I ordered this one, and I decided to swing over, do the whole curbside pickup thing, because I just got finished off of COVID-19, and I've been sick for the last nine days and decided I wanted to try to come out and do a curbside. So I did have my mask in the car. I pulled up to Red Lobster, and they were actually really accommodating. You, you basically just do your whole one-two thing. You place your order, and then you go along the lines. And when you get there, they text you, and you just text back that you're here, and they bring it out to you. Very easy. I don't have to go into a restaurant today, and I'm just basically on the men still. So, first of all, thank you, guys. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the kind words and everything everybody said to me over the last umpteen days as far as what's been going on with my sickness and what things I should try to take and what's been going on. So thank you for that. I'm almost back to normal, I guess, whatever normal is. I just pulled back up to my apartment and I'm going to actually do the review in the car, but I'm also going to make sure that I'm totally compliant as far as COVID and, and what's going on. I got my bag right here. Let's get started.
If you're new around here, <clears throat> you know very little about what I do and why I do what I do. And do it like I do it for TV. Red Lobster. I've been to Red Lobster, to that particular one, a different, couple different times through the years. And they've been there for a while, since the early 90s, from what I remember. And never really had much of an issue. You know, it, it's a restaurant. It's not the best seafood restaurant ever, I admit that. Um, so I'm sure you guys have tons of other seafood restaurants like we do here in New England that are a lot better. But Red Lobster recently advertised a sandwich that I was really interested in because it looked like the fish was so big in the picture of the sandwich that I basically was astounded like, wow, this is huge. This piece of fish is so big and looks so good in this brioche bun. I'm intrigued. I want to try it, right? No, no, no. I live maybe 10 minutes away from Red Lobster. All I'm going to say is this. By the time she gave me my food to go and I got home, it was under 10 minutes before I started opening things and sitting in the car. The first thing I noticed is that there was really no steam coming off of any of the food. On my order, I did ask for utensils. Don't believe me, guys. Look at the video. Didn't get utensils. I also didn't get napkins. So what I did is I ran into my apartment here, ran and grabbed some paper towels. And as you see, one of my actual glasses from my kitchen with water, because I didn't order any water or whatever, but I didn't want to pay five, ten, twenty dollars for a bottle of water today. I got my own water. It's Poland Spring. It is what it is. That's what I drink. That's what it is. Came back out to the car within a minute or two. Decided to hop in here real quick, do this review for you guys. So let me first of all say this. The sandwich itself aesthetically looks incredible, right? You got this really big piece of, of fish, cod. It's fried nicely. It's fried lightly. It's very thick. And if you know what cod is, you know that cod is actually a really thick, meaty, boneless fish. Some of my favorite. By the time I try to pick the sandwich up, as you see, the bun fell apart. Now, it's a toasted brioche bun. It's buttery on top. It's, it's, it's grilled or whatever they do. But when you throw the coleslaw on it, I guess the coleslaw, the juice from the coleslaw, kind of... It soaks the bread, right? So the bread is falling apart, literally. So I'm trying to be nice and neat. I'm sitting in here. I pick the sandwich up a second time. It's falling down. I got grease coming down my arm. <clears throat> I ate the fish. Some of it tasted a little rubbery also to me. Not sure what that's about, but I couldn't do it. As you see, I had to spit it out in a bag. There's no way I'm going to get sick of a food that wasn't done properly or maybe undercooked or whatever. Red Lobster, you tell me. Is it undercooked today? I don't know. But I'm here at 1 in the afternoon. There was really maybe two cars in the parking lot. So you guys weren't busy. Let's keep it with Buck. Let's say what it is. You guys were not busy. The food I got, I just spent $15 on this sandwich and some Cheddar Bay Biscuits. My Cheddar Bay Biscuits were dry. They weren't cooked. I didn't taste butter or nothing on them. And they actually tasted raw. Did y'all give me raw biscuits and I got to just throw them in my oven or something? Or is this something that's going on? Guys, if you've actually ordered the curbside pickup from Red Lobster anywhere USA and you got cheddar biscuits, did they come out cooked? Or are they basically raw and you got to throw them in the oven or something? Because they look cooked from the outside, but when you bite it, extremely dry. My experience at Red Lobster today for my little $15 with tax, $16, was trash. It was absolute trash. Red Lobster, I'm disappointed. I don't think that anyone in that kitchen threw this sandwich together the way I think it was intended to be thrown together. If you guys actually pull off half of the coleslaw that you put on this one, to mask the fish that came out rubbery, then maybe the sandwich would have stayed together. It didn't. That way, I get this thing home, and I got a mess 
I'm sitting here with a bag of Red Lobster. Me what type of mess is... Oh! Oh, I'm going to give y'all a score today. Because I just wasted about $16 on lunch that I can't eat. Red Lobster Crispy Cod Sandwich. They're new. Crispy Cod Sandwich. And side of Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Oh, don't forget the rice I couldn't eat because they didn't put the fork in the bag. I'm going with a goose egg, guys. I'm going with a straight goose egg. I couldn't even score this thing. Why? Because the sandwich fell apart. Because the fish itself, although it was fried lightly on the outside, on the inside, the damn thing was damn near raw. How do you serve raw fish? If I wanted sushi, I would have ordered sushi from a place. Not Red Lobster, guys. Not Red Lobster. Bridgeport, Red Lobster, y'all got to do better. I'm letting you know I was down here 1 o'clock in the afternoon on a Monday. Not even a weekend where it'd be busy. And y'all gave me trash. Straight by Suda. <laughs> Very real reviews. Y'all know me. I don't bite my tongue for anyone. I don't do it. Especially when it comes to reviews. And the reason I do this is because I want to make sure that you, 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 Get the most for your money as far as service, as far as pricing, as far as content and flavor. How hard is that? Ladies and gentlemen, if you like the videos, do me a favor. Click subscribe. Turn notifications on. That way you get the videos when I drop them. Mondays, Fridays, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, my new time for videos. And during the week as time permits, usually Wednesdays or Thursdays when I have time. And once again, this is Claude at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I'm around on all social media platforms. If there's a health bonus on my food, it's an added bonus. And honestly, Red Lobster, your new crispy cod fish sandwich, nah, miss me with all of it. You know why? Because it was soggy, it fell apart, and it wasn't worth my time, and I couldn't even eat nothing because y'all didn't even put a simple fork in the bag for me, man. Come on. Now, yes, I could have went in the house and got my own fork, but I thought it was in the bag when I came back outside with my water, right? <sighs> Guys, do me a favor. Y'all be cool on the other side of the pillow. Get ready for some more heat. It's coming. I'll talk to y'all next time.